Konnichiwa, Japanese Amo no Misa desu. Hey guys, this is day four of the kanji challenge. The kanji we will learn today are pretty easy, so relax and don't worry too much. It's more about remembering the readings and stuff. Alright, the first kanji. I'll let you guess the meaning of this kanji. Maybe you already know it. This means tree. The kunyo means ki. Ki. So when you want to say tree, you say ki. For example, ki ni noboru to climb a tree, or ki o kiru to cut down a tree. I talked about this in my absolute beginners video, but Kinoko means mushroom, but literally a tree's child. A mushroom is a child of a tree. Kinoko. <laughs> ki, that's the etymology. When we write the word mushroom, we usually write in katakana or hiragana. Alright, and the oyomi is moku. Moku. For example, do you know how to say Thursday? Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi. Mokuyobi literally means the day of wood or the day of tree. Uh, but this moku actually comes from the word mokuse, which means Jupiter. Uh, mokuse, again, literally means the star of wood. <laughs> All the words for the days of the week are based on the planet. So, Getsuyobi, that's the day of moon, actually. Uh, Kayobi, that's the, literally the day of fire. But this ka refers to kase, which means mass. Suyobi, that's literally the day of water. But again, sui refers to suise, mercury. And Thursday, that's Jupiter, amokuse. And Friday, kinyobi. Literally the day of gold or money, but again, kinse means Venus. And doyobi, that do can mean like sand, ground, earth, but dose means Saturn. Nichiyobi is the day of sun, and yeah, it's referring to sun. Anyway, going back to the kanji tree, the kunyomi is ki, onyomi is moku. Okay? There is actually another onyomi, which is boku, but you don't really have to remember it. It's used in a word like bokuto, but uh, focus on the ki and moku. And now look at these two kanji. When there are two trees planted next to each other, that means grove or man-made forest. When there are three of them, it means forest. Generally, you can think that the more tree there are, uh, the bigger the forest is. Because the kanji hayashi, uh, the kunyomi is hayashi for two trees, uh, can also be translated as forest. Usually it's a man made forest, and it usually implies that there are lots of tall trees. Okay. Mori is the sort of forest that you usually imagine like uh, bears would appear. There are a lot more trees and usually not man-made. Anyway, ki was the kunyomi for tree, right? The kunyomi of the kanji grove is hayashi. Okay, hayashi. The kunyomi of the kanji forest is mori, mori. Okay, so ki, hayashi, mori. All these three kanji are often used in surnames. So for example, Suzuki is an extremely common surname. Uh, Suzu means bell, so the tree of bells. Hayashi, very common as well. Hayashi-san, Mr. Hayashi. It can also be Kobayashi. That first kanji means small, so like small grove, small forest. Uh, Mori-san, that's very common as well. Um, but sometimes you also see Omori-san, big forest. <laughs> Again, if you're a beginner, you don't really have to remember the onyomi of Hayashi and Mori, but the onyomi of the kanji grove is Rin. Rin. 
and the oyomi of the kanji forest is shin. Okay, and together you can make a word shinrin. Shinrin. <laughs> so what is it? Is it a forest grove? Most Japanese people can't answer this question. They'd be like, it's a type of forest. It's probably a big forest. <laughs> and yeah, it's very hard to explain. It kind of depends on the speaker. But generally speaking, Shinrin usually refers to forest with tall trees. Okay. Or it can also refer to the forest and its creatures. So Mori and Hayashi, they are both just places. But Shinrin can be the whole thing, uh, including the animals living inside the forest. M but most people think Shinrin is a forest with lots of animals instead of forest and animals. So yeah. But don't worry too much on the difference. If you call a Hayashi Mori, Nobody would call you stupid. <laughs> it's kind of like the differences between woods and forest. Like if I call woods forest, I don't think people would be like, oh, Misa, you need to study more. <laughs> anyway, generally speaking, ki, one tree, or just referring to a tree, uh, hayashi, a bunch of trees. Usually man-made forest. Mori. Big forest. <laughs> Alright, the next kanji. This one. This one means desk. So you see the radical tree, right? Kihen. Uh, hen is how we say radical, by the way. Uh, so you see the radical tree. Kihen. And then the right part is the shape of desk. Okay, you see like the, the legs, makes sense, right? The kunyomi is tsukue, tsukue, so that's how we say a desk. Usually a desk is made of wood, right? Tsukue wa ki de dekite iru, right? So you can say ki de dekite iru to mean to be made of wood, but you can also say mokuse, mokuse which means the same as made of wood. Remember, if you write mokuse like this, so tree star or tree planet, and that means Jupiter, right? But if you write mokuse like this, it's exactly the same pronunciation, the accent. Uh, so mokuse like this, that means wooden, made of wood, okay? So you could say ki de dekite iru tsukue to mean a wooden desk, but you can also simply say mokuse no tsukue. All right, the last kanji. You should know this kanji because it's used in the word Japan, Nihon, right? Anyway, the kanji can mean book or origin okay so to read a book we say hon o yomu hon o yomu so hon is the onyomi of the kanji book okay hon the kunyomi is moto moto but if you say moto people don't think you're talking about a book okay so when you want to say a book you have to say hon hon but you have to remember that this kanji can also mean origin Otherwise, the word Japan doesn't really make sense. The word Japan, uh, the first kanji means sun. And the second kanji means origin. So the origin of the sun. Japan means the land of the rising sun. Pretty cool, but also arrogant. <laughs> so that line means that's the root of the tree. So we got the meaning origin from the meaning root. The word root is nemoto, nemoto, or neko, neko, like neko, cat, but there is small tzu, neko. All right, so let's review the kanji we have today. The first one, this means tree. The kunyomi is ki, the onyomi is moku, 
The next one, this means grove or man-made forest and the kunyomi is hayashi, the onyomi is bin. The third kanji was the forest, the big forest, the kunyomi is mori, the onyomi is shin. If you say forest, grove, you get the word shinrin, right? And the fourth kanji means desk. And kunyomi? Tsukue. The onyomi is actually ki as well, but if you're a beginner, don't worry about it. The fifth kanji means book or origin. The onyomi is hon, right? The kunyomi is moto. Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And please let me know how you've been doing so far. I love reading your comments. And I'm wishing you all the best. Gambatene, ja, matane, bye bye.